In the previous video, you learned how to write to a file in Android. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to read from a file. The app has a very basic layout. There's a read button which when clicked, we want to display the content of our file called file.txt into a text view called text. So what we're going to do is write a function called read from file that takes in a file name. So in this case, the file we're working with is file.txt in these examples, and it will return a string. And that's why we can say string content equals read from file. And then we can take our text text view and set the text equal to this content. Now it's the important part of actually writing this read from file function. This function is going to return a string and it's called read from file. It's one parameter is the file name that we want to read from. And inside of this function, just as we did with the write to file function, we're going to get the path where our file is stored. So get application contact or get files directory. Now we're going to create an object for the file that we're going to read from. So file read from is equal to a new file. And then we're going to provide the path that it's on. So this path variable we created on the line before it. And then the name of the file, which is called file name. This is the parameter for our function. And now this is the file that we want to read from. So to actually read from it, we're going to create a file input stream object called stream. And this is going to be a new file input stream. And one of the parameters that we have to pass it is the file that we want to read from, which is called read from. You can see that this is in red because we're just surrounded with the try and catch box. So we can go ahead and do that. The file input stream class has a function called read, which takes in a byte array and it puts the content of the file into this byte array. So let's go ahead and create our byte array to store the content. We'll create an array of type byte and we'll call it content. And now the length of this byte array needs to be however long the file that we're reading from is. And the file we're reading from is called read from. And files have a function called length, which gives us the length of the file in bytes. So we can go ahead and type read from dot length. And this is in red because it gives us a long when we need to put in an int. So you can type int in parentheses and it will cast into an int. And now we have this byte array called content. So we can go ahead and inside of the tr uh, try block, we can say stream dot read and we'll pass in this byte array. So we'll take the content with the file and put it into this bytes array. And now we have the content of our, our file in the format of a bytes array. We want to return a string in our function. So to return a string from this bytes array, we can return a new string. And one of the parameters for the string constructor is a bytes array, as you can see over here. So we can just type return new string and then content. And we'll take this bytes array, format into a string and return it back to us. And this is red as it's still red because we're missing a return statement in the case that this does not work. So if it does not work, which hopefully it should, we can just return whatever this exception is and we'll display that exception in our text view. Otherwise, if it did work, it'll return the content of the string into this variable called content. And then we'll display this content in our text view. So let's go ahead and run the app to check it out. So the app is over here and I'm gonna go ahead and type in a basic message like subscribe to IG apps. And I'll write this to the file. So it shows a toast saying wrote to file and file.txt. And now when we click on this read from file button, you can see it fills this text with the text from our file, subscribe to IG apps. Now I'll just type in a random message to test this out some more. I'll write it to the file. So it's now in the file. And now when I click on read from file, you can see it replace the text view with what's in the file right now. And the great thing about this is even if I close the app and I come back to it later, and this text view is blank. It's not displaying an actual content from the file. If I click from the read from file button, it'll display that text that was originally there because it's written it into the storage. Even though the app was closed for memory, it still has this in storage. And this is all the code that you need to read from a file in Android. If you found this tutorial useful, please make sure to share the channel with friends and subscribe for when future tutorials come out. Until then, happy developing.